Hi folks, welcome back to another video. This is DoorDash Sucks channel here on YouTube and uh, it's a Saturday. It's about, uh, I don't know, 2.30 in the afternoon and um, I uh, didn't post any videos uh, yesterday because I was so busy. Uh, so what I did was combine, combine two videos together and uh, they'll be up on the other channel in a little while today. Um, it was from Friday's Dash and I wanted to talk about a few things, but I wanted to expound on those things in this video uh, because I, so I wanted to just give you an update on stuff. So it's been, it's been really slow in my market and um, it's, it's just insane. There's so many, so many combinations of things that are happening all at once. But one of the one of the things that's happening in my in my own market is I live sort of near a sports stadium uh, where the New England Patriots play, and they in the summertime they use it for concerts and all kinds of stuff. So uh, yesterday was Friday, today's Saturday, and tomorrow's Sunday. So those three days are. Uh, concert days for a singer named Taylor Swift and she's in town and it's like it's a huge huge uh, thing right and what they do is they close down uh, they close down basically the highways for like three to five miles pretty much all the way up and down and there's there's a lots of businesses on this uh, this highway called route one it's a route one highway right and yesterday, when I went to work in the morning time... Well, actually, let me see. Was it early morning? Uh, yeah, it was morning time. And I was uh, I got like a Starbucks delivery order to go to, right? And then um, I had my other app on, and I got one from Dunkin' Donuts. Um, but the Dunkin' Donuts one was inside where the stadium is and where all the restaurants are. So the state police and a whole bunch of like p crew members of that that stadium, when you pull in, they ask you, "Oh, well, where are you going? Are you here for the Taylor Swift concert?" I'm like, "No, I'm here to pick." Oh, you you got to park over there. I'm like, "Well, I got to go in there." No, so they started arguing with me. So I just I just unassigned that delivery and left, and then I went to do the Starbucks one. So I get over to Starbucks, which is a little outside the stadium. And more accessible, but yet I found out from the girl in there that they're going to be closing the roads down for that, right? So, long story short, uh, where am I going with it is to say that, you know, one one event like that can screw up the whole, like, mini economy in an area. Because what, what I realized and what I noticed happened is all the people who normally dash out in that area which is about eight to nine miles away right all decided to come into my zone where I am I mean it's part of the zone but it's it's far away and those people usually stay out there so what they did was come into my zone which made it less delivery orders for everyone I I had the worst day yesterday in I, that I had in almost two years. I made like $64 for the entire day between the, the morning and the night. And I almost never worked the mornings, but I had a, um, I had a block scheduled for Amazon I was going to do later in the morning, uh, but I ended up canceling that. And, try, and then I just, after I realized how bad it was going to be, I just came home and then I decided, okay, well, I'll go out at 3 or 4, do the second shift, and... Um, it was it was it was horrible. I made uh, what did I make last night? Just in the night shift, I think I made twenty four bucks or something like that. To totally for the whole day. It was it actually was probably less than sixty four, but it wasn't much more than that. And um, I didn't stay out like a lot, a lot. But I realized that there's no way to really to get to make any money because there's too many dashes. And they all came into the areas where they couldn't go because everyone avoids the stadium like a plague. Like whenever there's stuff like that going on, the drivers know enough not to go over there. And I had forgotten about the concert that was going to happen. 
even on the on game days on Sundays with the NFL, it's the same thing. It's like it's crazy. But do you guys and gals have anything similar in your market like that? It screw it could screw you up where they block the streets off and everything. I mean, literally, you can't even get over there. And I, I mean, I on one end, I feel bad for some businesses because there's some private businesses that they can't really operate because if no one can get into the stadium to to have any business, then their, their delivery business is gone down down the chute. On the other hand, uh, some of them are corporations, and I don't feel bad for them, but it screws the drivers up royally. It just screws us all up. So um, I figured out why, partially why I wasn't, why I didn't make at least a you know a hundred bucks. You know what I mean, or over a hundred. And it's on a it's a Friday. So now today's Saturday and some of the very same things are gonna be happening today, although it's raining in my area. So I don't know if they, they would postpone the concert for that because that stadium is all outdoors, outdoor seating. Pardon me for a second, folks. And they got this beep 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 that thing that comes through and you can't like you have to scroll down to sh- like make it shut up, you know. It's crazy. Um, today I'm doing a little bit different strategy. Um, I, I've been declining a whole bunch of stuff, but, um, I need to make some money. So now I am compromising just a little bit, but these ones, this one's an eight miler for 1150. And let me see where this is going to be. Um, yeah, it's 2.4 to the, to the place. And then it'll be about probably six miles to the, uh, to the delivery. I guess it's all right. And plus there's major traffic today. Um, it's probably due to the concert, but I'm, I'm far away from it, but it's crazy how for miles away, everything screws everything up, you know? So anyways, um, I figured out in closing of the video, cause I, I don't want to keep this going too long, but I just wanted to say that I found, you know, I figured everything out that, yeah, in combination with all the other regular things, it was the it was the concert. You know, one friggin' singer at a at a concert screws the entire economy up. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. I mean, you know what's funny? From what I, I was talking to friends, and they said, "Oh, Taylor Swift Swift is making fifteen million dollars on uh, on the three days that she's here. Imagine that five million dollars a concert." <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't give her diddly squat to go see her, uh, but, you know, like, here we are struggling as drivers to deliver food, and we can't even, we can't even do our jobs because of someone's outside interference, you know? Anyways, with that said, folks, uh, if you want to head over to my other channel, Gig Apps Exposed, um, I will have been posting another video from Friday night talking about some different things. And I com- like I said, I combined two different videos together in that one video. I was going to post them separately, but I didn't have a chance to, so I, I just combined them. So anyways, I uh, hope you're going to have a good uh, day, good weekend, and uh, I will see you guys and gals on the next one. Thanks for listening, folks. Take care.